I we have a Electrosan um, toilet waste treatment system on board, and it is doing the malfunctioning thing where the uh, red flashing light comes on every s second or so, which indicates there's a high probability that the electrode pack uh, is past its use-by date. And uh, today we're going to attempt to replace the electrode pack. So let's, uh, let's get into it. To start off with, here is the unit, our beloved Electrosan, stored away in a locker. We've flushed the toilet through about a, a gazillion times with um, with well with outside water, so that the contents of the electrosan itself now should be little more than calcified residue and seawater. Now we have to go through the fun process. How we're going to do this is first of all I'll remove this cap here to be able to get at the electronics of it. Uh, inside here there is also a a, uh, a, a cylinder which we can use to extract whatever fluid is inside the, the electrosan unit itself having turned off the through hulls after flashing it through, through. Once we've extracted the fluid we'll try and remove the hoses and physically take the unit outside to give it a, a decent clean and wash up. So first thing we're going to do if I can get you to hold this is for you to, if, if you can hold this, first thing we're going to do is remove, my unit is just, it's not strapped down, it's sitting here, it's in a, a, and it's in a secure locker, the pressure of the hoses and the layout of the locker prevent it from moving around too much. So I'll just tilt this forward, remove my uh, cap there, and now we can see the electronics. The electronic panel is con connected to two two pumps here. Uh, we to remove the lid of the unit, I have to remove the electronic panel. So when doing that, we need to be careful about where the wires go. And uh, I've drawn a little diagram of that that shows the black and orange wire from this one where they go to, and the black and red wire from or sorry, yeah, black and orange wire again from this one where they go to, so that I can put that back together again. Now what I'm going to do is to try and drain the inside of the the unit itself. So to do that, I'm going to remove this bizzo here, and that can go for cleaning. And now I have access to the inside of the unit. And what I will do is I'll grab myself a bucket and a pump, and uh, we'll start cleaning that. So we'll it's filming now. I've got a pump that I uh, use for oil changes and so on. Inserting the hose down to the bottom of the tank. And commence pumping. And we keep going until we've uh, got the whole tank empty. So I'll, I'll cut at this point and once I've emptied this I'll obviously throw the bucket of water or fluid over the side. Having flushed it a, a few gazillion times, all that's really coming out of here is, uh, is seawater, so it's not too offensive, although it does smell a little bit like rotten eggs. Uh, I'll cut now and we'll come back when I finish this bit. It's on. Okay, one of the things that's worthwhile noting at this point is inside the actual electrosan unit there's two chambers. The fluid come, or the waste comes from the toilet into this side then the pumping action takes it up over the other side and with a macerator and all the rest of it down into the other side. So when you're, you're pumping it there's a dividing bar inside this particular chamber here. Um, it, you need to pump out both sides. So I've pumped out this side, I've now replaced the hose back into the other side and I'm emptying that. By the time we've finished we're probably getting somewhere in the order I guess of about uh -huh. seven gallons of, uh, of fluid um, and the only reason I'm doing this is because is when I take the unit out I, I, I want as little fluid in my bilge as possible so I'd rather uh, transfer it to the ocean by bucket. So I'll keep going with my pumping and uh, we'll cut now and come back later. Action. Okay, 
fluids all out of here um, and by the way on this video please excuse my legs but there's nowhere else really for me to put them um, okay next thing is to undo these hoses try and remove the hoses from the unit so that I can slide it forward enough to be able to uh, elevate it out of here so that, that should be a fairly straightforward process um, it's simply a case of undoing four hose clamps so but getting the hose off might be a challenge that's the easy part now getting these hoses off I suspect is going to be a, a mother of all jobs they've been on there for an awful long time what I might do is get a hair dryer and try and heat them up and see if we can get them off that way um, so we'll cut at this stage Action. all right so after having heated the, uh, the hose as much as we can for a while so that it's really hot we'll see if we can get it off oh here we go look at that Beautiful job. Oh my god, that's revolting inside. One down. Now I'll do the other one. So we'll... Uh... Alright. Now we'll see if we get the bottom hose off. This is where we find out whether we've been able to get all the fluid out of this unit or not. If we haven't, um, this is about to get ugly. Okay, it looks like we uh, oh, look did a reasonable that. job of that. Yep. So there's a bit coming out there. So we'll, uh, I'll have to find some way of hanging this hose up uh, in the meantime, or um, a small bucket to put it in. So I'll, uh, I'll cut while I go and find something for that one. Okay, action. Okay, <coughs> hoses are off. Now I want to try and be able to get the unit out of the boat. To do that, I have to disconnect. Filming, action. Okay, we've got it out of the boat. Uh, I've just drained drained the, the uh, little bit of fluid that was remaining over the side. And now I'm going to remove all of these uh, bolts here to be able to lift the lid and get at the electrode pack. So this is simply a tedious exercise of unscrewing bolts which would work better if I had a spanner on it. Cut. Action. Okay, um, need to have a, in this case, because I've, uh, I've got the bolt, so I uh, need to use a spanner at the other end to hold the nuts. So let's see, there we go. in there. One. Yeah, great. Right. I don't have to, use this. Have to edit the hell out of this.
section. Nearly come in here. Okay, once we've removed all of the, the bolts from here, trying to get the lid off, um, we can't just pull it off at the moment because connected underneath here are the bolts that hold the um, electrode pack in and that's preventing it from coming off. So we have to take these two bolts here out, which are securing the electrical panel. Once those are out, this slides back and we, from here we can see the electrical connections for the electrode pack, which I'll now undo and we'll have to remember that the, uh, the black one goes to the outside. See how we go about getting the lid off this thing. And there we have it. the inside of the unit which is remarkably clean and these this is the electrode pack here and the fins on it are heavily coated in gunk so now we just got to replace that this theoretically slides out and that's the cause of the problems we hope now we'll go and clean this all up. Which means oh, look at the all jumping the fish! There's a rubber seal around here, we don't lose that. Um, we'll have to put some petroleum jelly or likewise on that before we put it back in. So we'll clean this all up and then uh, and come back to you. Cut. Quick scan of our boat here at Brunswick Landing Marina. Action. Okay, so we've cleaned everything up as best we can. Uh, here's a new electrode pack. A few hundred dollars worth from Raritan. Please explain. I don't get it. That's worth a dollar. Anyway, uh, we put that in. There's two ways of putting it in. 
right way and the wrong way. Hopefully I put it in the right way and that right way is on the opposite side of the inlet. Now we put some petroleum jelly or equivalent thereof around the lid and also around the, the seal. Uh, I'm using Lano Coat which is my personal favourite and the reason it's my favourite is that's what I've got on the boat at the moment. Um, this is just a, a bit of a to be sure to be sure kind of sealant so um, I'll put that on on uh, this and the seal and uh, come back to that. I'm going to stop. And by the way, if you don't like getting dirty and you want to attack this job, I suggest you don't. probably the messiest part of the whole process. Okay, now it's uh, from here on in, basically what we're going to do is the opposite of what we've done so far. So there's no point uh, wasting your time on footage with this one. So if you want to see how to as assemble the unit again, just watch what you've seen so far in reverse. And, uh, and, and that's it, I'll probably take a f bit of footage just when we finish to make sure it all works. But uh, meanwhile, I'll just carry on with this on my own. Thank you.